Did you read the email? Hello, hello, this is Rosa RCG Creations. How are you doing? We're bringing to you a... Oh, it doesn't say. An Azure Hall. <laughs> I just literally walked in the door from the drop-off location. Whew, and I'm pooped because this one point box is small, but it's heavy. Okay, so let's see. I know there were two things from my order that didn't get shipped. And of course, if they don't ship it to you, they don't charge you for it. So, that's the one good thing you don't have to worry about needing returns. Oh, Nino. Oh, and you know, I actually have printed some stuff on some of this stuff. Okay, so let me... The first thing that we were, I we got today... Now this is cornmeal, and this is a pound pound bag. Okay, so that's gonna be good because I'm almost out of my other regular cornmeal, so that'll go in my bucket. Actually, that's gonna go into a half a gallon quart jar. Cause it's a small bag. Since we're trying to stay away from breads and pastries and stuff. Oh, I'm not making too much cornbread. But you can all do all kinds of things with cornmeal. You can make, uh, I like to make grits. I do grits on occasion, not all the time. Cornmeal. Uh, you can use the cornmeal, once you've ground it, uh, the cornmeal, as a coating to add like with your, um, oh, honey, what's that white stuff that we use for coated on pork chops? Oh, what do you call that? Oh, anyway. It's dehydrated breadcrumbs of some kind. When you buy, I make my own. Panko. I don't buy them. Panko, that's it. He said, panko. <laughs> but it's good when you mix a little bit of the cornmeal with your panko, an equal amount. And that gives you a different texture, a different flavor. So there's all kinds of uses for cornmeal, not just for cornbread. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, that's not in your way. Of course, we got the little magazine sales flyer. Okay, and then I've got here, oh, I needed this. Um, garlic granules, look at that. Oh, I only got a small bag because I wanted to try it out, but it's only one pound, but the next one I get, if I really enjoy this, it's gonna be a five or 10 pounder, or maybe a little bit bigger, because I wanna be able to have it for the entire year, and I don't have to worry about doing it again, ordering it again for a while. Next thing here is pep smoked paprika. Over here in my area, smoked paprika is extremely hard to find. But I order, I go ahead and got this one. Let's see how much of a weight is this one. Okay, so this one is 16 ounces of smoked paprika, which I don't know if a lot of you know, but smoked paprika is different flavor than regular paprika, and it makes a big difference on your meals. So if you haven't already ordered, try it. Uh, go ahead and go to your regular store and buy the small little bottle of smoked paprika and then put it on some of your meals that you normally use regular paprika and you'll notice the difference and you'll really enjoy some meals you really enjoy smoked paprika a lot more than regular paprika. Uh, here is 100% beef gelatin. Okay, there we go. And this one is just uh, one pound. And the reason I got this one and I printed this out from the website, a website that I got online, is um, this has uh, this this bag will last me five years, so that's nice. I don't have to worry about using, and I'll have to, it won't go bad on me before I use it out. And this is to prolong the life of drinks and prevent them from spoiling. It also assists in gut health and promotes gastric acid secretion and seals the colon so that nutrients are that it seals in the colon so that the nutrients are in there and stay inside. It gives consistency to beverages and foods through the production phase. And it adds collagen to your skin and hair when added to cosmetic products. So if you were, if you make your own makeup, cosmetics, you can add some of this stuff in there. And that will help take care of that. But the reason I like it is because I'm getting kind of old. <laughs> I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. 
and I just want to be able to have a lot more nutrients to stay in my body and I don't want to lose them out because as you age you start to lose a lot of your nutrients and here it says here what is beef gelatin beef gelatin supplements have recently gained popularity among the health and wellness community due to the multitude of healthy benefits it can provide and there are many reasons why okay it's uh let's see now i'm, just, I'm not gonna read the whole thing if you want a pdf of this whole thing i'll be happy to create a pdf i think i already did it and i'll be just email me in the description box if you just sit there and say hey beef gelatin pdf that's all you got to do in the subject matter you don't have to do anything else uh, because i'll just email it to the email that you sent me and let's see okay here's a good one that i really want to do what i tell you about is the main difference between our collagen and gelatin is its form and method of consumption while our collagen produce products dissolve both in hot and cold water and are more quickly digested due to smaller protein molecules our beef gelatin must be dissolved in hot water once the gelatin cools it takes on a jelly-like form making it perfect for creating desserts gummies soups and stews and i want this for some like gravies and the uh, biggest thing is i'm thinking of uh, making these into gummies so this way we can pop a gummy and we'll have uh, one pill a day of a little gummy i've got these little baby little molds or little like little leaves fall leaves and they're candy molds but i'm going to put this in there because it's food grade and they're they're really small, but it'll be just enough for me to have like I'm gonna have like two of them because they're kind of thin because they're like a little fall leaf. I think it's um oh what's that? There's a tree I forget it is. It's got the three little corners to it, three little tips. If anybody knows, let me know. Shoot it out in the comments. <coughs> maple, I think it's a maple leaf, but it's really thin. But I figured two of those little pop pop two of those and make them into a gummies, and then that'll be my intake for the whole whole day, and I'll be sure good good to go. And I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. But um, there's a lot of great information that I did buy, uh, print out. Just only uh, like one and a half pages. See that? Like a one and one fourth pages and stuff. But if you're interested, just let me know and I'll definitely be happy to shoot that over to you. Okay. Now, let's see what else did my order get. Okay, I did order my coconut oil because I had no more. I was totally out. It's totally solid. But what I like about it is sometimes you want coconut oil solid and sometimes you want it liquid. So you just pour a little bit and then put it in your microwave, heat it up, or put it on the stove top and heat it up and melt it, and it becomes uh, liquid. But coconut oil is really good to have on hand. And I really needed this because we're using a lot of this. Plain old maple syrup. Hubby's going to like that. Going to make him some maple syrup to put on pancakes. <laughs> I found a recipe on how to make our own maple syrup. So I needed that to make my own. Now I do have a concentrate, uh, an imitation maple flavor, and I like it, but I'm going to try to make my own maple syrup, and I don't have to worry about spending $5 for a container of store-bought maple syrup to put on our pancakes or waffles. <laughs> oh, got me some coconut sugar. I really do like the sugar. And I'm actually using more of this coconut sugar instead of granulated sugar. And you can put it in your drinks, you can put it in your food. Wherever you use regular, take granulated sugar, use your coconut sugar. And this one's only a one pound bag because I already have two jars. And I wasn't too sure, I wanted, I wanted to measure this in a jar. I don't know if it's going to be a quart, more like it's going to be a quart jar, not a, not a half pint. And see how long it lasts so that way I'll know to have extra in stock but I probably will be getting a bigger quantity of this because that's going to be part of my weight loss program of because coconut sugar is lower in calories than granulated sugar so that'll help me with my weight loss program okay oh I really am waiting for I've been waiting for this for a long time this is one pound of nutritional yeast and this is going to go into a food meal um, I got three recipes that I found on what I need but I need this to make it but you can also sprinkle this on popcorn breakfast cereals casseroles or soup and you can add a tablespoon in your favorite morning juice cereal or smoothie or you use it as a seasoning for salad gravy soups and casseroles and uh, did I, I 
I think I put, I wrote down, I printed down nutritional least. Okay, here's my maple sh sugar. I have a, I can get you a PDF of the maple syrup. Yep, here it is. Okay, nutritional nutritional yeast. Okay, and it's it's kosher, gluten free, GMO free, vegan. And this particular one that I got, they have different kinds, but I got the large flake ones because I'm making this is my first time using it, so I'm gonna do the big one just in case. Okay, and let's see here. Uh, this is made from Red Star. It's what it says. Red Star specifically developed. Vegetarian support formula, primary grown nutritional use for those on a vegetarian diet. Okay, and Red Star grows the yeast in rich purified cane and beef molasses under careful control conditions, then dries the product in drum dryers. Okay, it has a mild nut like, excuse me, it has a mild nut like flavor, which is free from any harsh yeasty odors or tastes. So. I will definitely put, uh, and if I remember the two recipes that I'm going to make this on, I'll put it in the description box or I may do a pop up. But I got to remember what those. I only have, I, I'm actually up to now four recipe books. One's desserts, one's side dishes, one's main dishes, and one is miscellaneous, all kinds of stuff. And I've got some drinks in there. Like, how do you make your own, like, strawberry lemonade? And I pressure can that. No, excuse me, I water bath that. That's a water bath product. And um, so I've got a little section. So, you know, if you get tired of water and you get tired of soda and you want something different and you don't want the plain old, plain old, everybody gets lemonade, you know, the pink lemonade, the yellow lemonade, but you want something different. And it's nice also for those who have farms. And then I like to go to mar farmer's markets in the summertime and get fresh produce from local markets. So I help. Uh, keep my money in our local area and that's what's that's a nice way to do stuff and then here are my one two three four six bars of this Romano organic unsalted butter I, didn't have, I have one bar left so I needed that because they were out of stock last month so but that's it for my little small order and I thank you so much for watching and if you like to bit more information on Ezra, just shoot me a comment or send me, shoot me an email, whatever is easier for you. And I'll definitely be happy to give you some information or if you have any questions on any products. Because I've been slowly trying three or four new products every time I place an order. That way I know if I like it, if it's good, and if you hubby and I want to reorder that same product. Because it's got good prices. I love the fact that a lot of this stuff is organic. Yeah, it's non -G a lot of the stuff is non-GMO, and then it's, um, Azure's was created by a family, and that's who maintains it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.